case of myocardial ischemia aged 65 we're doing geriatrics today mostly um, age 65 case of myocardial ischemia with concentric left ventricular hypertrophy the heart is enlarged Your target report to them? The, she got a report done this month only which shows it's the hypertrophy is not there in this report though but it was earlier on it was present. Uh, cholesterol levels are high. Breathlessness, palpitation are the major symptoms with oppression in the chest, heaviness and oppression in the chest. Heaviness and oppression in the chest. Words from ascending the stairs. She feels a sense of suffocation, especially when lying down with the with a covering on the chest and throat. A sense of suffocation, especially when she lies down with something on the chest and throat. Lying down with something on the chest? Like you know, like a cover she puts on it in the chest or the throat. Vertigo frequently worse than rising from sitting position. Weakness plus plus, especially uh, in the early morning, in the morning, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., she feels weak. Itching around the eyes and ears from dust. Sometimes gum bleeding she has. For the urine, stress incontinence, for the urine, stress incontinence. Left back pain with cramps, blood test report. Blood test report. Left back pain with cramps. Seven pregnancies, five abortions, two normal deliveries. Seven pregnancies, five abortion. abortion. All um, what you say? Induced abortions, not spontaneous, induced abortions. She's a hot person. Hot person. The desire for salty. Desire for ice cream. Mother had a tongue cancer, father prostate cancer, brother gallbladder cancer. Frequent dreams of robbers, dreams of snakes. Frequent dreams of robbers, dreams of snakes. You know, many of these patients live, are coming from the rural areas and there is an abundance of snakes to be honest so you have to make sure we ask the question again that you know you, you have a lot of snakes roaming around your home sorry so that can be a subconscious dream as well which was not with her case um, so that's why we have included uh, in our case notes she had a past history of hysterectomy due to uterine fibroids and heavy bleeding
কেমন আছেন আপনি কিন্তু ভালো আছি ওকে চাপ ভাবটা কমেছে আগে থেকে হ্যাঁ তাহলে I saw her in July last year with the palpitation, with the breathlessness, with the oppression. Oppression right now is around 80 to 90 percent better. It's not like the body, like the other leg. Na, what is the problem? Actually, the problem is that we have some finger pains. Who has it? Both sides are. 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 Pain in the fingers with swelling, pain behind the knees with cramps in the calves. How many times do you have to do it? Yes, I have to do it. How many times do you have to do it? Okay. She's on conventional anti-diabetics. Sugar and pressure. Cholesterol should be done. Thyroid pressure. She was on conventional medicines for cholesterol and thyroid. I have stopped that. And she's on homeopathy right now for that. Only on conventional anti-diabetics. We started this case in July with lachesis. Suffocation from sensitiveness, you know, something coming near the no throat, with dreams of snake, with palpitation, with left-sided back pain. Lekes has helped to take care of the sensitiveness. So, she could sleep. Lekes has took care of the sensitiveness. We started with Lekes is 30, we went to 200. But Lachesis didn't help at all with the palpitation, breathlessness and the oppression. We went to 1M again with Lachesis considering one symptom was completely gone but didn't help. I want you to open your body, have a look at this wonderful medicine. When, she's, when I saw her in October, the major complaint she mentioned of that, you know, it's very, very heavy, it's so oppressed, I feel something is heavy is on my chest. You understand what I mean? If you open your body, I want you to have a look, especially with this pathology, cardiac pathology. Hematoxylon, please. H-A-E-M-A-T-O-X-Y-L-O-N. It's a very useful clinical tip. I want you to put that in your clinical tips, please. H-A... Right. You got that? This is the remedy. Hematoxylon. This is potency. Coming to that. If you see open hematoxylon. If you see the introduction, sense of constriction, sensation as if a bar lay across the chest. My granddad used to say that if it's like a small elephant is sitting on his chest. That kind of heaviness. Whenever the patient is emphasizing on heaviness and oppression as the key factors, you always think of hematoxylon. I'll differentiate with cactus in a moment. Those of you are thinking about cactus, I'll come to that. But with hematoxylon, you understand that's why the importance of metromedica here. Oppression, heaviness, Plus, 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 plus. That's the major thing. It's a, like an animal, like a baby is sitting on your chest. That kind of heaviness. With cardiac pathology. If you see the chest section, constriction, sensation of a bar lay across the chest. Palpitation. You got that? So when you come, come to hematoxylon, oppression, heaviness, those are the three plus, plus, plus. If you have that, with the cardiac pathology, metoxylon is the remedy we should think of. We started with 200 C. One prescription in October, 90% gone. And that's the beauty of hematoxylon. You see, a good constitutional prescription, what it couldn't do, you need these medium-sized remedies, sometimes as an intercurrent, to deal with the case. Right? 
Difference with cactus now? Why not cactus? Cactus, the key word is constriction. So C1, constriction. C2, a cage sensation. As if your heart is in a cage. C3, clasped and unclasped. You understand what is clasp and unclasp? This and this. Constriction, release. So there is like a increase and a web, ebb. Again high, again an ebb. That's the clasped and unclasped. It's coming, going, coming, going. But with hematoxylon, a baby is sitting on your chest. It doesn't go away. It's constant, persistent. That's hematoxylon. <laughs> the intensity is in a straight line for hematoxylon. With cactus, comes and goes. And cactus will tell you more, it's like a constricted feeling. It's a pressing sensation. And you will always have a modality for cactus, aggravation movement. Aggravation motion for cactus. You are with me? So hematoxylon is whenever patient is telling its heaviness, its oppression in cardiological diseases. You are with me? Another remedy which comes close to Hematoxylon, we may not perhaps have the opportunity to discuss it. Lactrodectus. Lactrodectus mactans. You look at me, please, my friends. Whenever with cardiological diseases, patient is telling you, rather than this, the pain is always radiating down to the fingers, and I feel like a numb, tingling sensation in my fingers. And you know the pathology is a cardiac pathology. You don't have to think twice. Prescribe lactrodectus mactans. With angina, with cardiological diseases, there is a radiating angina pain down absolutely to the fingers with tingling and numbness. That has to be lactrodectus mactans. Are you there? Sorry? She has an ECG, yes. ECG shows, I will send that to you. What about Magnolia? Sorry, what about Magnolia? Magnolia also has this impression on the chest. Not to this extent, you know, it's like a heavy barred sensation. Not to that extent like uh, hematoxylon. It's just, you know, like, I would say 100 out of 10, that's the score of hematoxylon. Got Lactrodectus in Borike. If you have a quick look in Lactrodectus, please. You put these in your clinical tips for Lactrodectus. If you see, uh, second line, a picture of angina pectoris, constriction of chest muscles with radiation, radiation to the shoulders and back. You got that? If you look in the chest section. Violent precordial pain extending to the axilla and down to the arms and forearms to the fingers with numbness of the extremity. Please do highlight that. Either there is tingling, either there is numbness. Left side. Extremity section pain in left arm feels paralyzed. All due to the cardiac pathology. That's your lactrodectus mactans. Right? Three great cardiological medicines, but hematoxylon is a very, very useful remedy. Oppression is better, as I mentioned. Breathlessness is better. I'm asking her today to stop the antihypertensives. I'm putting her on Crategus in tincture. You understand hypercholesterolemia with hypertension. You saw the reports, the cholesterol levels are high. I'm putting her on Crategus. I'm asking her to withdraw the conventional antihypertensives. Hematoxylon 200C in October. We are boosting today. I'm giving Crategus in tincture, which will help take care of the blood pressure as well as the high cholesterol levels. Uh, do we not uh, need to reduce the conventional medicine slowly? You know, because I reduced the cholesterol medicine earlier and I'm reducing the blood pressure today and I'm putting her on Pratigas, so hopefully it should be alright. You know? In many cases, it's useful to reduce it if the patient has had further symptoms from reducing the medicine but with, when we reduce the cholesterol medicine she was absolutely fine i didn't put her on any organopathy but this time i'm putting her on organopathy so that we can support if there is any adverse effects still she's on anti anti-diabetics they're not reducing that right now 
will take time. Let's take care of the cardiac issues first, and then you know we can gradually reduce the antidiabetics over time as well. Pratinga, ten drops in a cup of water twice a day. Reducing the antihypertensives, and hopefully, if hematoxylon does hold good, you know even probably she won't need pratigas as well because if hematoxylon is a good cardiological remedy, so it can take bring back restore the cardiac function, and hopefully the blood pressure can be, you know, all right.